everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a review of the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous Foundation. Now I am in shade 810 Classic Ivory. Now I bought this at the drugstore, CVS to be specific. It'll be in a CVS haul either before or after this goes up. And so I could not color match this. So I kind of had to eyeball it. And I really could have stood to go on a shade darker than the one I got. This one does tend to if I'm not planning on more, you know, adding more color to it, it does tend to kind of Casper me out a little. Uh, but that's not this foundation's fault. That's my own fault for not picking a shade a little better. But this says that basically it gives skin even coverage and natural glow that lasts all day. Now, I have worn this for two different days. And both days what I did was I actually put on a primer and then I put this on and then I put on, I actually wound up misting myself. The first day I wore just this foundation and the primer. I did not wear any blush, bronzer, mascara, anything on my eyes because I did not want like mascara breaking down or the foundation breaking the mascara down and it kind of skewing things. I wanted to see how this would last by itself. We wound up running errands that day and going grocery shopping and let me tell you I'm glad I did not wear mascara or anything else because this stuff it is not meant for the southern girl who's going to be out in the sun and the heat and the humidity and is going to be just sweating because while we were in the Kroger parking lot this stuff was about to melt right off of my face. I did not set it with powder, I did not put it on a spray or anything like that. I wanted to see how it would last on its own because it claims to last all day and it does not, you know, you technically does not say that I need to spray with a spray or set with a powder. So I'm going based on if the average person who's not a beauty, you know, YouTube watcher or a beauty YouTuber or beauty blogger were to go to CVS, buy this, and go, oh, this will last me all day, and start putting it on their face, how it would work. And if you're going to be out in the sun or you're going to be sweating a lot, it ain't going to work. And that was just getting out of the car, going into Kroger, walking around Kroger, coming out of Kroger. We then went to Sam's Club, but it was already kind of starting to get a little iffy at the Kroger. So today I wore it, and I wore it with the uh, primer. I then, and oh, I only applied one coat the first down I wore it. This time I put on one layer and then I went back in and I built up some coverage because I did not wear concealer either day either. I then put on some blush, I put on some bronzer, I did my eye makeup, and then I kind of spritzed it with my L'Oreal Infallible Extending Spray. And it actually worked a lot better the second time around. So, I don't think that, at least for myself, I can wear this, and I have dry skin people. I'm not like oily and it's like slicking right off. I'm talking like the heat just killed it and dead. It was gone. <laughs> um, so, it does need some prepping. It does need some a little bit of babying. But other than that, I really do like it. It actually does give a bit of a glow. It gives a glow in the way that it is... It's shimmer. It's not necessarily a glow. It's it's shimmer. They they've added shimmery stuff into it. It makes your face kind of shimmery. Uh, so depending on how you're kind of tilting, sometimes it's like, oh, she looks like really healthy, and then sometimes you're like, ooh, she looking a little, you know, shimmery. So you kind of you don't want to build up too much, and you really don't want to wear other shimmery products with it. So like I skipped the highlighter because I was just like, that's gonna be overboard. And I did go with a blush that did have a hint of kind of shimmer to it, but it wasn't, I didn't go with the Dior because that one's got shimmer all day long. So, and I didn't go with a bronzer that had kind of shimmer to it. I went with a flat bronzer. And so I, I really would not recommend if you're going to use this using any other real shimmery products because it will go overload. But other than that, it is a really great product. I will say that this does not beat for me the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1. Um, it does have the same kind of top. It's just a little pump top. And that's what it looks like. It does have some kind of, it's not real liquidy, but it blends really well. Like I said, both days I used the Beauty Blender to blend it. So it does blend out really, really well. It's obviously not gonna blend out super well on my hand. 
for some reason foundations hate blending out on my hand it does not go as well as it does on my face so as you can see it does have a bit of a kind of shimmery glow to it I don't know if the light is catching it but it does dry and set a lot faster than some of the foundations that I've been using but again it doesn't really it's not better than the CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1 foundation. I love that foundation. Um, it is one of my favorite foundations when it comes to CoverGirl. So this one, while not better, I think it would depend on what look I'm going for. If I want that kind of perfect, flawless look and I'm looking at one of the CoverGirl foundations to use, I'm going to stick with the Outlast 3-in-1. However, if I'm wanting a more kind of beachy, glowy look, then I'm going to go with the Luminous. If that makes sense. So it's not better than the other one but it's not horrible you know it's kind of a little underneath it so those are my thoughts on the covergirl outlast stay luminous foundation um i will actually have like a little pump and like swatch out on the blog so you can see kind of up close what they look like and until next time if you like these kind of videos make sure to kind of uh, to give this a thumbs up and leave me a comment also, if tell me which do you prefer. Do you prefer me trying this out for a few days and giving you my full opinion on it? Or do you prefer when I'm actually applying it just kind of for the first time in front of the camera and giving you my first impressions of it? So leave me a comment down below telling me which you like better. Make sure to follow me on the social media. And until next time, bye!